Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's actually a couple days after the last video you guys seen. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys yet, but the whole inside. Here, let me grab a light. Let me my phone. Look. The whole inside of the Accord is full of mold. It's fucking disgusting. I don't know where it came from. Like, look at, look at all of it. I don't know how it happened or where it came from. So. <clears throat> After I was working on the car the other day, I had a really bad cough. My throat's still hurting from it, so I just ended up going home. But yeah, we gotta get some videos out for you guys. So what I'm gonna do now is pull the wheels off their cord, and we're gonna go ahead and put the LCAs on it. And after I get the LCAs on it, I'm like, God, I really gotta fix that. That's bothering me. Oh, it sits all like cricket. I don't know why, but I'll deal with that. Um, we're gonna do the lower control arms on the car. After that, we're gonna get the rear end of the car up, adjust the coil so it sits a little lower and everything, and then we'll go from there, make sure everything is tight on the engine, all the intercooler stuff, suspension, whatever, is all connected. And then I wanna pull the seats and everything out of it, get all this interior out of it. I bought everything, where's it at? Over here, there's some stuff right there to clean the interior out. So I'm gonna do that next, but for now, <clears throat> I'm gonna pull these wheels off and start doing those LCAs. All right, guys. So pretty much this whole this arm here is what we're gonna be taking off. So you got down here, 17 here. These are pain in the ass, but 22 is here. I believe in here is a 17, and then this one here is a 17, and then you got this pain in the ass right there, which is for the sway bar and link. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this all done. All right guys, so this side's all put together. Brand new one in. <clears throat> I didn't record this side, so I can figure out how it goes together. And I don't look like an idiot on camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the passenger side and I'll show you guys how to do it. It's pretty simple. You got a 17 down here, 17 here. These are 19, you got a 17 there, and a 14 for the pickle, fork right here, whatever you wanna call it. And then there's a 14 for this way and link. And then, you know, have a good impact, you know, or something if you don't want to use like hand wrenches and stuff, like a hammer or something, and you can get all taken apart. So, I'll go ahead and record the other side for you guys. All right, guys, so <clears throat> I'm going to start off by taking off right here. This will be a 17. So, we'll go ahead and that'll be a 17. We'll get that out and then you can leave the bolts in there it'll come out pretty simple after you get this arm off which is a 14 comes off and I'll loosen this all up and just pull the bolt right out That's off. Pretty simple. Just put these right back in here so you guys don't lose none of the bolts. Once that's out of the way, you can just turn this and then knock these two out. These are 19s. Um, they're not completely tight because I knew I was going to be doing this. So I think we tightened one in case we were going to drive it or something. But yeah, get these off. And a bing, bada a boom, boom, boom. Oh my. That one's pretty tight. Holy jeez. Ooh. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. That's very much a tight. <clears throat> but I mean, what kind of guy don't like it tight? So it's all good. Boom, boom, boom. Those two are out, boom, boom, boom. Then, <clears throat> pretty much from there, you have the 14 here, 17 here, and a 17 right here. So, let's get it. 17. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see if I can get a hit of this. The radius armor gets in the way. Oh 
my god, it's not gonna fit, guys. It's not gonna fit. <coughs> I don't think so. I think I was able to use this one on the other side. Yeah, much too tight. Very tight. <coughs> you break it loose, and then I'll be able to use it. I think all that's left now is this baby here. Which I believe that one's a 14. <clears throat> Put this in here, guys. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, yes. Would you look at that? <clears throat> so everything is loose. Um, what you want to do is bang on it right here. And that should loosen this up. If you don't have another band with, you can get a pry bar underneath here. And give it a good old wrap it Sometimes it'll come loose. Sometimes it'll not. I need lower ball joints too guys. They're like shot, but um only reason I'm not replacing them because we're gonna be going five lug on the car soon. So <clears throat> obviously I'll put new ball joints on those. And when the lower the um, camera kit comes in for their uppers, obviously they have new joints on them. Ball joint. That's why, you know, yeah. I know guys. So, I'm gonna grab a hammer. So. I don't have a hammer, but this shall do. I'm gonna get this off and then, yeah, I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, so as you can see, the armor's out. I destroyed my finger, but it's all good. And it's hot as hell in here. I'm dripping sweat, but we ain't stopping. So now, the new one. <clears throat> This right here, Grab the bolt right here. Yeah. Go ahead. Tighten it all the way so you got some movement, you know. And then, we'll do this baby here. <clears throat> Just 
put everything on guys, don't completely snug them tight down. Just make sure everything is on and then you can go ahead and snug everything afterwards. These radius arms are a pain in the ass to do. Um, I'm gonna get the jack, put the jack on it here, and go from there. But before I do that, I do want to tighten this one up all the way. With an impact that actually has power. I'm gonna get the jack, jack this up. I don't know if you guys can see too well because there's light here. I'm trying, guys. You gonna see that better? Uh, it's a little better, I guess. But, <coughs> jack this up. So we get this radius arm on, get this end link bushing, and we can put this fork here, and then we tighten everything up. Those things are a pain in the ass. Yep. Alright. Tighten this baby up. <clears throat> that one's 14. We got this 17 right here, guys. This is tight, this is tight. That's tight. That's tight. All I gotta do is tighten these up. And those are just those 19s. <sighs> these things are a real pain in the butt. I don't like doing them. Alright guys, you guys pretty much know how it goes, so I'm gonna go ahead and Tighten these up and then we'll be back. Well, the car's back on the ground. Uh, new lower control arms on it. Man, that thing looking mean, y'all, don't it? Hey, she don't look mean enough. <laughs> so. You just gotta work on that rear fit, man. Like, hold on, let me see if I can zoom on that baby for y'all. Look at that gap. See that gap? Oof. Oof. Yeah. You gotta work on that. Get off my iPod. Yeah, guys, we gotta definitely work on that gap back here. That shit ain't right. You see it? Is that, you see that right there? That's not cool. Hold on, watch. Shh. Oh. Oh, not cool. I'm definitely gonna be lowering the ass end of this. Um, probably not right now or tonight. Um, I'm actually pretty fucking tired. So those front load control arms pretty kill killed me. Um, but what I do want to do is I'm gonna pull this seat out of the car, and we're probably gonna just throw that that 13 seat that's over there that is up for grabs because apparently they don't want their stuff. They didn't take when they left. So I'm just gonna throw it in here so I have somewhere to sit. And I wanna drive this around at least, see how it runs. So let's see. First I'm gonna wash up a little bit. Give us a drink. Cause we dying.
All right, guys. So, <clears throat> as you see, we just drove the cord um, out of the shop. We drove it around here a couple of times. Um, definitely needs like an alignment or something because front end feels really weird on it. Yeah, I don't know why I'm showing you guys the car. You guys don't want to see that ugly thing, right? Um, <clears throat> I clean up the interior a little bit. Not a lot. Tomorrow's or not, maybe not tomorrow's video, but next video. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be coming out here tomorrow and make another video on the Accord. Or if we're gonna be working on the Cadillac. I got a couple parts in for that. So I might do something on that. If not, definitely on the S10. But, yeah. I'm standing on the light for you guys. Accord's running and driving. Um, next thing I wanna do, like I said, is I wanna pull all the interior out of it, clean the seats real good. Um, the carpet, door panels, like everything inside the car. Just clean it really good because of the mold in there. So that's going to be next. And then we'll go start on body work. I'm going to lower the rear end. Stuff like that, you know. And then when I get some more money up, we're going to go get it dyno tuned. Things like that, you know. <clears throat> but quick little video. I'm not sure how long it's going to be after I edit. But I'm trying to get videos out for you guys as much as I can. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash that like button. Because the Accord's back on, not on the road yet, but it's running. It'll be tagged here shortly after I figure out the little bugs with it. And then we'll go ahead and start driving it again on the street. Like I said, Angel's going to be driving it for a little bit. And then we'll switch between him driving that and the Cadillac. And I'll drive it sometimes. He'll drive it back and forth, whatever. <clears throat> but it runs and drives for the most part. Um, alignment, definitely. Tune. And then clean up the interior. Interior's definitely next. And we'll do alignment and tune. And we'll be ripping the streets with it once again, everybody. I know you guys are excited, so you better smash that like button because we're doing things. And you know we're going to be fucking with the Cadillac soon. So, like I said, I ain't doing much to it, you know. Got a couple lights in for it. I'm still looking for some wheels for it. I was going to buy some cool wheels for it, but I really don't want to go static on that car. I really want to bag it to do like a VIP setup on it. And as you guys know, I got the S10. And everybody knows that piece of thing. But we still got the S10. Um, uh, yeah, this is where she sits and where she's been for a while. <laughs> um, what I want to do to this is <clears throat> get the rest of the glass out. You know, get all this trim off of it. Pretty much get everything out of the inside of the truck, out the carpet, everything. <clears throat> and then we're going to cut out the doors, stuff like that. Get rid of the windows in it. I'm not going to be running windows, unfortunately. I might. I don't know. I want to run NASCAR bars in it. So, I don't know. We might just do, like, vertical bars and keep all that in there. But, definitely got to get all this out so we can get sound deading out of it. So, we can start cage work on this. I don't want to cage too soon. I'm actually going to do the cage myself. <clears throat> There's a company that sells a pre-bent cage. And everything is pre-bent, pre-notched and everything. All you got to do is weld it together. And I'll be doing that. So... This baby will come along. I want to close up all these like I mentioned before. So, but that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification button. And what else? Oh, if you guys made it to the end of the video, go on the bottom in the comments and put a thumbs up. Yee. Peace.